Good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be um, baking banana bread. And um, what you need for your banana bread is, well, the main start of the day, overripe banana, uh, flour, butter, eggs, baking soda, a little bit of salt, and let's go. Okay, first what you want to do is uh, turn on your oven uh, to 350 degrees Fahrenheit so it can start getting warm. And go ahead and, and put a little butter or margarine in your pan. Just kind of rub it in so that your dough will not stick to the pan. Like that. After buttering your pan, you set it aside and you just go ahead and peel your very ripe banana and put it in a bowl. Just kind of peel about three or four. It all depends on how much banana bread you want. And just uh, sit them in a bowl. Alright, alright, guys, just go ahead and match your banana. Just keep matching it until you get this. Um, until it looks like um, uh, paper mache, you know, just keep matching it. Okay, guys, when you're done matching the banana, it looks like this, and you just set this aside and start to mix your dry ingredients. All right, for my dry ingredients, I'm going to use two cups of all purpose flour. One teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and this is highly optional. A quarter of a teaspoon of um, nutmeg. So I'm going to go ahead and mix everything together, just like that. Alright, now I put about two sticks of butter that has melted at room temperature in a bowl. Then I'm going to add my one cup of ground, grinded brown sugar and quarter of a cup of regular sugar. And I'm just going to mix together. I'm going to mix until they are all well blended together. So when you're done mixing your butter and your brown sugar and regular sugar together, go ahead and add that two eggs from earlier. Add it to the mixture and just keep mixing. And this is highly optional. You can. Um, I like to put a little vanilla, pure vanilla extract in mine because I like that smell, that vanilla flavor. So what you're going to do is that egg and sugar and butter mixture, you're going to go ahead and turn it into your banana mixture. Just turn the whole thing in there and get it all out. And mix it all together. Just use your spatula and mix it thoroughly. Alright, the next step is for you to add your liquid ingredients to your dry ingredients. So just pour all that mixture, the banana, the butter, the egg, everything. Pour it into the flour bowl and just continue mixing. You're just going to go ahead and mix it all together. So folks, you can see the mixture is, uh, the batter is uh, thoroughly well blended. So, and this is highly optional. Uh, I like to have raisins in my banana bread, but a lot of people don't do that. But hey, it's my banana bread. And like you, it's, it's yours. So you can throw whatever you like in your banana, if it's raisins, cranberry, granolas, nuts, whatever you want to throw in there, almonds, you can throw them all in. 
and that's the beauty of it you know you get to bake in your house so you get to choose what you want to have in your banana bread all right all right now you just go ahead and turn it in that little bowl the ba the pan your baking pan just put it in there like that all right just gonna go like that very good okay here's my banana bread in my pan and so I'm gonna put it in the oven and leave it in there for one hour to one hour ten minutes and um, and it will be done by then all right Alright guys, my banana bread have been sitting in the oven for a little over an hour and you can see it's golden brown now but the ultimate tester is to use your toothpick and just kind of put it in there and when you put it in, you bring it out and you make sure it's clear this one is clear right here so um, my banana bread is done okay guys, when you bring out your banana bread from the oven, you let it sit on the um, in the pan for about five minutes to cool down then you're just going to turn it all upside down and transfer it onto your say because of the butter that I put in there in that pan it was easy for me to transfer and you're just gonna flip it over and turn it right here and voila and that is a banana bread so what you can do to serve it is just cutting with a bread knife like so All right. Okay, guys, this is the final product of the banana bread, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a nice time making it, making it, and um, and giving it to your family and loved ones. And if you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And to all my previous subscribers, thank you, and have a blessed day. Bye bye.